we're going to take a look at which European army is the most powerful. This Let's video go. is brought to you by TLDR Business. The Sponsored you... by himself. Sponsored by himself. That's not Russians, right? Wait, that's actually Russians. They actually are equipped for once. No, that's Ukrainians. That's Ukrainians right here. You never see Russians equipped like this. That's not a thing. Ukraine has reinvigorated Europe's interest in security and defense. Basically, every large well, European... Spoiler alert, it's not Germany's army. Trust me on that. ...country has pledged to increase defense spending to at least 2% of GDP, as recommended by NATO. As recommended by Donald Trump five years ago. Oh! And the so-called oh, oh. peace dividend, which oh. refers to the money that unthreatened states can redirect away from defense towards other stuff like healthcare and education, has basically it's evaporated. It's Poland, it's France, nobody knows. So, huh? in this video, we... I'm thinking the strongest army, if all European countries were in a one-on-one -on -one tournament, without going full mobilization, the winner has to be UK or France, man. With... I'm going with the UK, bro. I'm going with the UK, man. I feel like their navy and shit. I think Germany could be ranked one if they would give a bit of more of a fuck and they wouldn't have so many um, corrupt politicians. Various European militaries do our best to figure out who has the most powerful military in Europe at the moment and it's how good, that might change question. in the future. France? Well, it's not fucking Germany. Germany was ranked one once, yeah, but when they ranked once, they got very toxic in the forms, man, the and most powerful tried European to ban everyone, army between Europe's the the... two nuclear armed powers. The UK and France. Yeah, that already kind of makes. According to Global Firepower's annual military strength rating, which essentially compares the number of vehicles and personnel to compare the relative power of different militaries, in 2022 France had the world's seventh most powerful military. While the UK, I thought Japan doesn't have a big military. Uh, the, the, you guys always tell me Japan is like demobilized and shit, and they're not allowed to have an army. Why they rank five then? Is Germany like number three? No way. K has the eighth. Next on the list is Italy, which has the 11th okay, most like, powerful. Okay, Germany's like down. Okay. And then it's Germany in 16th. I don't know why. I don't know why, chat. For some reason, this 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 message kind of makes me a bit sad. I, I love peace. I love democracy. I just don't know why, though. Seeing us on rank 16, dude. I don't care about you in some contest or the World Cup, but this right here, man. If Grandpa would know, it's sad. It's sad. Spain in 19th, Ukraine in 22nd, although that probably needs update. Talk about reaction and stuff, but today I was in the car driving around and I always listen to, um, I listen to this intellectual radio station where people just talk about stuff like political stuff. And there was this woman, Mrs. Herman, and she wrote a book about what's going to happen to the world in the next years with global warming. And I thought it was so interesting. And she was debating an old man. And the debate was that she's kind of like, bro, we're all uh, crazy. She was very intelligent, very eloquent. She explained very interesting stuff for how um, democracy and capitalism will crumble eventually because these two systems don't have the uh, means necessary to handle global warming, especially democracy is going to have problems. We might even see when global warming gets very heavy in 50 years, we're going to see uh, capitalism completely crumble. They will be rationing, uh, water rationing. Uh, the only the rich can afford this stuff. There will be revolutions, etc. Uh, while the other guy, the old man, was just arguing, oh, oh, stop crying so much, stop bitching, technology is going to fix it. And it once again reminded me of, man, we talk about the World Cup, Ukraine, all that shit, man, Kanye West, man, and we, I genuinely believe, man, global warming is the biggest threat the human race has ever faced, and we're, we're not fucking doing by far enough about it. Anyway, let's go back to Anything. the rankings. And Poland in 24. France ekes out the... U I, th I think though this video is a little bit useless, no offense, though, because you never know the real power of the military because you, you don't include psychology, motivation, etc. Obviously, nobody would have thought that Ukraine can actually keep up we with Russia and now Ukraine is doing amazing for, for factors that are not uh, so easily mathematically uh, to be put on, pot man, uh, on spot, man, you know? Despite reliably spending more money on defense than the French, the Brits just have less Thank stuff. you, Fox. Now, we should say we have here that the stuff. number of personnel or vehicles isn't a perfect metric for an army's actual effectiveness. You know, a war, and Ukraine shows that a war is such a complex thing, man. And I, I said this many times in the last months, uh, what I learned from Ukraine is a big factor in a war is morale, which, yeah, you cannot put a number on, man. It's morale, man. Like, like you know, in Germany, nobody wants to fight, right? Germans are fucking a fuck all of this. But imagine Germany would be attacked, man. 80 million people would be like, oh, let's go. Every country in Europe, if your country gets attacked, holy shit, man. The, the people, mostly the toxic white men, are going to fucking war defending their country, you know? Um, and that's a big factor. The attacker, I feel like attackers always have the disadvantage. 
because you don't have the morale bonus. Yes. We see but that in Ukraine very heavily. it's completely unrelated. And the French just have both more personnel and more vehicles. While the UK has slightly more survivor, reservists than the French, the French has 205,000 active personnel, 11,000 more than the Actually, UK. Actually, such small armies, right? If you think about it. Millions of inhabitants, but the armies are so small. The French also have significantly more aircraft than the UK. More wow, tanks, more armored aircraft. vehicles, and even more ships. Oh, the now, French are... The... Damn, the French are strong as fuck, man. The problem is every time the French will go to a war, they go, Oh, oh, je suis surrender! Ah, good joke, right? Aha, I made a surrender joke about France. <laughs> Yeah, man. France, France has a lower Good budget than the UK, with them, huh? but loads of kit. You might assume that these vehicles are cheap and therefore subpar. However, that's not actually the case. France is currently in the middle of the 20-year modernization program called Project Scorpion, which that has significantly scary. improved the capabilities of their hardware. And French especially their land this forces. On the same side, right? All right. Launched with $6.5 billion of funding over 11 years in 2014, Scorpion aims to... But the, no, you, the way you know the French is if France ever goes to war, they're just going to have domestic rebellions all the time because people are fucking mad all the replace time. Replace almost all frontline armored vehicles in the French army. In practice, this will involve the production the France and jokes? procurement well, they do. of something like 4,500 armored vehicles. And the renovation of about 200 French Leclerc tanks. These vehicles, and especially the Griffin VBMR, which is going to make up nearly half. I don't know why we so often talk about vehicles, man. Look at Russia versus Ukraine. These vehicles mean fucking jack shit, bro. Artillery is the matter, you know? vehicles are some of the best available. The other thing that's just particularly get impressive anyway. about the Scorpion program is that, unlike basically every other military procurement program ever, it's currently on schedule and on budget. According to analysts, this is largely because most of the work is being done by a single consortium of French companies, including Nexta, Texelis, Thales, and Arcus. I know of these this men. is continuous with They're like the Kruppstahl of uh, France's huh? vision of European strategic autonomy, which involves reducing Europe's reliance on America like and that. therefore really American arms that. manufacturing. While Le Pen man, which got a lot of votes, is, is uh, I mean, come on, we don't have to open that one. The program has been such a success that in 2017, Belgium joined in and is now buying new armored vehicles from the same consortium of French companies. Hmm. Now, this doesn't mean that France's military is definitely better. They're not even mentioning Germany, man. It's like we just got kicked out of the World Cup. Now we're getting kicked out of uh, who has the best army. God damn, dude. I, I gotta vote. I gotta vote. A militarist party, huh? In the UK's. Comparing militaries is... Well, in 20 years, the Green Party around the world will be a militarist party because they will uh, have to use force to make uh, global warming not a thing anymore. Thank you, Vars Gaming. Thank difficult you. because, well, different militaries aspire to do different things. And while the Scorpion program might have significantly improved French land-based capabilities, some analysts think that the UK has a better navy and air force. Some analysts, he's talking about her four players. Anyway, what's the ever the case, the main takeaway here is that the UK and France... No, no, if you vote AFD, I think that's not a militarist role because the AFD will just so sell the country to the Russians and then there's no more war anyway because we'll repop it. ...have the two most powerful armies in Europe. So how might this change in the future? Now, please, come on, talk about my country. I'm a German, I like when we talk about me. He's going to be like, what if Germany is going to actually put money in the military? Well, as Here we, we see it, there are two countries that could challenge this Anglo-French duopoly in the future. And that's Germany and Poland. Let's start with Germany. Since the early 2000s, Germany has spent significantly less than its European counterparts on defense, despite... Which I agreed with. There was no war, there was a reason why, why do you have to go to war and shit, you know? I, I kind of agree with this, but uh, Ukraine has really uh, woken me up, man. If they would ruin our GDP since they would spend it on migration politics. ...having the largest economy on the continent. Express... Damn, we're so far ahead. Total GDP. That's how far ahead we are, I didn't even know. Dude, Sweden is so bad. Sweden can't even beat Spain? I didn't think Spain is this high, man. Just as a percentage of GDP, the difference becomes even more stark. Germany averaged about 1.2% of GDP on defense, compared to about 2.2% for the UK and 1.9% for France, well below NATO's recommended 2% target. This was, in part, a reflection of Merck. It's so awkward that Many, many years ago, they all sat in a room and they were like, Hey man, let's make like contracts where we say that we put 2% of GDP in defense and then just nobody does it. Like, they're just like, ah, yeah, no. <laughs> Dovin's foreign policy. Fucking and her general democracy. preference for cooperation over confrontation. 
Under investment left the Bundeswehr relatively like toothless, it. something senior yeah. German officials have been warning about for years. Very true. Very Inspector true. of the Army, Lieutenant General Alphos. That's uh oh what what is that Germans? Do you guys know that's not car that's it looks like cast car, but it's not cast car. This is some air shit, right? Oh, we're going in deep, bro. I gotta learn this because soon I'm gonna get drafted, right? Cast car, remember, and that is the special forces. Artillery, ABC Abwehr, DNL Corps. What is that? DNL. What does that even mean? Oh, Deutsch Französische Brigade. German French. That's cool. That's cool. Eurocore. That's sick. Falschmaker. He's a Heeresflieger. What? Are you ah, that's the Feldjäger. And what is this? Jäger. Out. I don't fucking. I think I don't fucking understand this shit. When I was in the army, I, you had to learn this. I understood nothing. Oftentimes there would be a guy here, and he's like, "Why don't you salute me? Because I don't know your rank, man. I don't know who you are, bro." Thank you. May is the highest ranking officer in the German army warned in 2020 that not a single brigade-sized unit in the German army Isn't that fucking ridiculous? The point is, before the Ukraine war, you wouldn't have cared about this. Before the Ukraine war, I would even argue because you don't need it. But it's unfair, that's something where I always really, um, really, really, uh, we're on the same page as Donald Trump, man. It's unfair, man. Europe has to come together. Europe wants to work together. And it's very unfair if Germany just makes the everyone else do defense and we don't do it. It's very unfair. Uh, it's not cool. We, and we won't have to thank Vladimir Putin for showing this to us. Then we actually have to get better at this. And yeah, it's not very fair to our allies, I think. A US citizen is better than... Yeah, dude, if you probably... If you take 100,000 German soldiers and let them fight 100,000 Texans, the Texans might probably win, dude. Cyber warfare is more important than ever. Yeah. I mean, what's cyber warfare? If World War Three happens right now, I'm going to be drafted as a cyber warfare unit. And what does cyber warfare mean? I'm streaming every day like, Germany, yeah, Germany, yeah, 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 the, uh, the enemy, very bad. Very bad. I'm going to be uh, one of these Russian trolls, but for Germany, right? However, this is all set to change in the coming years. In reaction to Putin's invasion, Chancellor Olaf Scholz announced a so called Zeitung vendor. <laughs> Which essentially involves it's German for a uh, peaceful, peaceful warm up, peaceful uh, radio station attack, increasing Germany's military budget to two percent of GDP in the next couple of years via a one off one hundred billion dollar extra budgetary procurement fund. No, in Germany, though, this this discussion. This looks cool on the outside, but you never know if this is real, man, because. Um... Uh, or if it really is going to do something, because there's so much corruption in the army. Uh, not corruption, but there's so much... Uh, I explained this once. There's like this unit, this this office in Germany, and every time a brigade wants to order anything, like shoes or weapons, they have to go through that through that office, and the office is so slow, it takes them forever to order something, it's ridiculous. And then they have lawsuits and shit. It's and the Sonder so Vermergen, which is supposed to be spent within the next three years. Scholz has since said that he expects the Sondervermögen to turn Germany into, Mergen. quote, the best equipped armed force and the cornerstone of conventional defense in Europe. We will so see about what's that. this money going to be spent on? Well, if reports are to be believed, most of yeah, it... Yeah, once again, Sean, I agree with you. 16 years of CDU, 16 years of Angela Merkel. Look what happened, man. Uh, 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 addicted to Russian gas, no military, no digitalization, man. Uh, I genuinely believe if any, you guys are mostly young viewers, and if there's any young Germans watching, if you ever make your fucking cross on CDU again, I cannot help you anymore, man. Whoever votes for this party ever again, I, I, brah, that is just, Jesus, it's man. It's going to be spent on the Bundeswehr's air force. Germany plans on buying 35 of the latest F-35. 35, huge Dude, is that, is that Lockheed Martin? Alter, that's why the, the... Is that Lockheed Martin? They must make so much uh, stock market money right now. US Very contractor strong. Lockheed Martin and several more anti-submarine and surveillance aircraft. Thank you very much, Frankie. Mate. Interestingly, thank you, thank you. Germany is planning to spend nearly a quarter of the entire Sondervermögen on cyber and new communications technology, which will mean Germany should have one of the most technologically advanced militaries in Europe by 2025. Damn. And it really depends on whether they continue nice. to invest in defense after 2025. Nonetheless, it's at least true to say that the Germans are taking their security more seriously yeah. than at any time in the past Finally. quarter century, and they're one to keep an eye on. The other country to keep an eye on is Poland. Unlike Germany, Poland has reliably spent about 2% of GDP on defense and is on track to spend 2.4% like of GDP this year. If this wasn't enough, Warsaw has since said it will raise its target defense I mean, spending to 5%. capital is called Warsaw, man. How can they not be good at war? 5%? Jesus, man. The other 95 is uh, suppressing homosexuals. By far and away, the biggest spender in NATO, as Damn, measured as wow. a share of GDP. Greece? Alter, Poland is rank one spender. Wow. 
Most of this will be spent on Poland's land forces and army, which makes sense given Poland's geography. Did you mention the EU Polish defense minister pledged in July to that his Russia country would have the weekend. most powerful land forces in Europe. Poland already has more tanks, artillery and mobile rocket launchers than both France and the UK, and a similar number of armoured vehicles. On top of that, the Poles want to have 300,000 troops in their army by 2035, which would make them the largest force in Europe. Now, while this would make Poland one of the most powerful militaries in Europe, but it's that not should be totally fucking up the economy, man. They're spending way too much, huh? Clear that they can actually afford it. Yeah. Fuck. What is that weapon? That's the uh, Haka 46 or some shit. Heckler and Koch, right? Right? Percent of GDP right? is a lot, and Poland is already having to borrow quite a lot of money to afford its current expenditure. Nonetheless, if they can find the money, That's the Poland AK will probably become one of the most it's powerful some kind of AK? Land That's an AK? What? That's an AK? Where's, where's the fucking Americans? Based forces Look at that neck. in Europe. Anyway, if you're more Big interested target. in Big economics target. than military stuff, then check out our new channel, TLDR Business. What are you still doing here, mate? Jeez! Well, if you want to see more, click these videos. Have fun! Looking good, boy.